Greetings. This is Greg Bem, one of the SEC librarians. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to log in to access our databases and other restricted information. Here I am at the SEC library homepage. One thing I'm going to do to show you this is go to the databases A to Z page and go to a database that will require me to log in. For example, ProQuest requires a login. I'm going to click on P and go down to ProQuest and open ProQuest in a new tab. This is the screen you will see if you are not logged in. As you can see, it says that this resource is only available to certain groups within the Community Colleges of Spokane. I need to enter a username and password to get access. It provides information on the student example or the faculty staff example here. Note that the student example is the Bigfoot email address. Note that the faculty staff example is the faculty staff email address. I'm going to enter in my email, and in this case, I have my password autosave because I've been here before. I'm going to log in, and that will take me to the database. For your browser, you only need to log in once. It will remember you and you can access other databases that would otherwise be restricted. Now, if you are a student watching this and you need help with your Bigfoot email, you should click on the Bigfoot email page listed under student resources on the Spokane Community College website. You can also Google SCC Bigfoot email and this will pop up in the search results. This page describes everything you need to know about Bigfoot student email, including what it is, and the format. If you have problems with your Bigfoot email, including your password, you can scroll down to the IT Support Center. This information will get you connected with IT, and they will be able to provide you help with your login and your password as needed. One other thing I want to point out in this video is logging in to Primo. Let's search in Primo, which uses a separate interface here. And note that it will ask you to sign in if you're not signed in already. It'll ask you here in this golden bar or in the upper right hand of the screen. Now, you don't need to be signed in to access the search results and click through and go to the databases. That uses the login that showed previously. But signing in can get you the ability to save items here and view your library account information. So if I click on sign in, this will ask me to sign in using the regular authentication through the Spokane Community College and Community Colleges of Spokane interface. Once you follow all of those prompts and you sign in, it will show you this. Now note, if you are signed in in your browser to your Office account or Canvas, you should be able to have just clicked sign in and it would have automatically known that you were authenticated and who you say you are and you wouldn't have to have gone through those different screens. Because I'm in an incognito window, I was able to show you those screens. Once you're signed in, it will show your name in Primo in the upper right and you'll be able to access all of your information in the upper right. Notice and note that this is all private to you. None of the information that you save in your account, none of the, uh, the databases that you access, the resources you access will be stored on the end of the library team. We have no uh, information um, or data around that. So everything is secure. This concludes the video for the logging in process to access the various restricted library databases and information. If you have any questions, please reach out to the SEC librarians. We're happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.